Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following them, yeah? Well, people, we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with a shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, ain't for 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fontic Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. On board the Cajun crew, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah. This my daddy's iron, all right. But this ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Oh, oh look at here. She's on for me. Hello. Oh, are you mama in there? Whoa! But well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. Man! The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You'll never want to turn off that gun. The needle tooth nightmare, the Barracuda. Savage slash of the Barracudas under threat. Barracuda. While most recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. You got two can barely tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. Used to have my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. If anybody was gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted a bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh, I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Bayou Brawler, the American Alligator.
Rosie has been a star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show. But our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. The Sultan of Speed, the Mako. Fast and aggressive, the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. Kyle, what's wrong? Can you catch no reef? I can, but this one's like 20 feet. Fifteen. Whatever. Can't do it. I'll come out there. I'll do it. The old man with one hand. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. What are you saying? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Boy I couldn't catch in a diaper. He telling me how to honor shark. Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father-son bonding. But now, I don't know. I might start looking for another summer job. Hey, not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just hope this whole university thing works out for him, yeah? The evolutionary anomaly, the hammer. Overcoming her opponent's clearly superior depth perception. As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. Well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that. Wants to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Oh, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also, stuff like misspelling. But I just say it. Maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. 
Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings. That's the one what took my hand, all right. Get yourself ready, boy. Now we playing with power. She's catching her wind! Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! Big enough to toss her now, ain't you? Can! Get that can! Dance it! Pick it up! What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. The Emperor of the Deep, the Great White. is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. Pete, what's in the barrels? Fish food. Pete, whatever this is, can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get that shark, one way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? That killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Want to keep tugging on this knot, you? 
The white and black attack. The Orca. The featured attraction at marine mammal parks now have a new favorite trick, killing things. The cetacean assassin, the sperm whale. In the good old days, the world practically ran on sperm whale oil. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet spermaceti. The man-eater's longevity depends on her nimble. The scourge of the swampland, Bayou Willie. Despite poor Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. The bartender life ender, Bobby Bojang. Shark's reckless behavior only further incenses for Clovis's citizens. The savage shrimper, Pookie Paul. The situation has escalated. And the price on the shark's head is risen. The fishing phenom, Candyman Curtis. I think that's hard. Throwing caution to the wind, the big fish escalates its battle against Port Clovis. Ensign Tyler Dixon. Look forward! The shark's reckless behavior only further incenses Port Clovis's citizens. Fort Clovis is thoroughly energized by the shark menace. The corn-fed colossus, Butcher Boy Brady. Let's go! That's her!
obstinately digs in as the conflict escalates. Okay, that's not true. The Toast of the Coast, Lieutenant Shannon Sims. Multi-million dollar mix, Mama Maybell. Bodied seaman, Commander Percy Metcalf. Further incenses Port Clovis's citizens. See it? The Beast of the Fleet, Captain Robert Brunton. Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the, the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Look, I didn't get it easy. But when something, 
some shark. Take everything I got. I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat before I kill you too. The f*** I say! <laughs> Hope you got a hunger on! We serve a shark ain't too fair tonight! Hello there, girlie. As you can see, I can't prepare today! Oh, I'ma fix you up real first. This boat will come with everything. Laissez les bons temps rouler. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Manny.